Oh, welcome back and welcome to Uniquely Us. And this is a moment where I take a second and talk to you guys about a video. And this segment is called Frank's Take. I'm glad that you guys are here today. And talking about what's happening in New Jersey right now, Democrats have, over the course of the last year, the last few years, I guess, have actually, we could probably go about, about six years, have really put a target on the backs of Republicans across the country uh, and and has activated a base of individuals who are looking to actually harm Republicans, just regular voters, but also Republican politicians as well, putting a target on their back. And now we've seen, of course, we saw the the uh, attempted uh, attempted uh, attempted uh, take on the life of Steve Scalise, the baseball field back in 2018. If you guys remember, the uh, the young individual that was ran down last late last year uh, by a crazy Biden supporter, and now we've had two. New Jersey Republican council people hunted down and murdered in their own town. What is going on right now? Democrats continue to scream that the rhetoric used by the right is causing violence against the left, which they never have any evidence to provide or to provide or to even back up that claim. What we continue to see is mountains of evidence of the other way around, the left's violence against the right. And we are seeing it escalate time and time again. And now uh, we've had two council people uh, in New Jersey who have been assassinated uh, by a Democrat. And that is what they continue to do. Their rhetoric that they utilize to make uh, Republicans to be uh, less than human, subhuman, in order to justify their actions, right? They used all kinds of dog whistles in order to activate their base to go after Republicans. And we're going to dive into the story here coming to us from the Gateway Pundit. But before we do, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button to 300 likes. That would be great if we could hit 300 likes. And of course, if you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel, and you want to support the channel, smash that super thanks as well. So let's go ahead and dive into what we have here. Coming to us from the Gateway Pundit. It says, one week after the slaying of a New York, a New Jersey council member, a second council member was also taken out. Last week, the Gateway Pundit reported on the slaying of a New Jersey uh, GOP councilwoman, uh, Eunice uh, Dumfor. Dumfor was 30 and found deceased in her car with multiple gunshot wounds. In Saraville, the mid, uh, Middlesex County Prosecutor's Office said, one week later, the Somerset County Prosecutor's Office reported New Jersey Municipal Council member Russell Heller was also found shot dead in his car. Russell Heller, 51, was found dead just after 7 a.m. in Somerset uh, parking lot of PSE and G and the local energy company where Mill 4 Republican worked. Cops quickly uh, ID the former employee, Gary Citrus, as a suspect and found him dead in his car from a, self, uh, from a self-inflicted gunshot around three and a half hours after the slain so again we we we're having this um we're having this attacks on republicans we're having uh violence directed toward republicans by the left by the globalists by these individuals who do not want an opposition they want a single party rule and they're going to continue to do their efforts they're going to continue to use their dog whistles they're going to continue to play victim every time that you show them that the evidence does not match up with what they're uh saying and they'll continue to play victim and then they'll play victim saying that we're attacking them by showing them the evidence showing them the truth and they'll continue to use those dog whistles in order to go after their opposition and scare us into silence so we will no longer oppose their anti-american agenda anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me in all my social media, including Odyssey, Gab, and Twitter, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and of course, and of course, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.